So I had this young fella ask me what the heck I was doing when I was playing this shuffle. So <clears throat> here's what I was doing. You play a Texas shuffle, Texas ghost notes, it sounds like this. If you play Bernard Purdy style ghost notes, you get this. Texas goat notes are on the uh, and the Bernard Purdy notes are on the and. If you play them both at once, you get this. Now that might be considered a little much for some situations. However, if you drop the first Texas ghost note, it frees it up just a little bit, empties it out, if you will, like this. can shuffle, particularly if you have a good rhythm guitar player who plays the upbeat button, button, and a bass player who knows how to play on the beat. Now I had been using this for that Stevie Ray Vaughan tune, Look at Little Sisters, got the triplet. Hey, 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 hey. And that ends each verse, too, like So that becomes sort of an ostinato as you go from the regular groove to the triplet figure at the end of the verse. And that's a good way to keep the groove going even if you don't want to play a bunch of drum stuff. Like that. That's a little busy for some people's taste. So you can you call that sort of an ostinato. You can play it over other things too like this. Particularly good exercise I like is to put that over the uh, the middle part of Rosanna. <laughs> <laughs> 